find sine, which is 5 over 13. Negative. Right. Now, tangent of pi plus theta. Now, pi plus theta, wait, theta plus pi is the same thing. Except now we're going for tangent. So that'll be 5 over 12. Positive, since we're in the third quadrant. Now, let's go for a sign of pi over 2 minus theta. Pi over 2 minus pi over 6 is basically going to be 2 pi over 6 or pi over 3. So pi over 3 is going to be located here. Put our 5, put our angles together, and put on our other sides. Measures. And indeed write the equation of what it is. Now let's move on to finding sine of it. Sine is basically 12 over 13. Cosine of pi over plus theta. Well, we already have wait, theta plus pi. We already have it. So cosine will be 12 over 13 negative. Now tangent of pi minus theta. Pi minus pi over 6 is equal to 5 pi over 6, which will be located right here. We have 12 again there, 5, 13, and put on our angles. Now we're making a mess here, but that doesn't matter. Because <coughs> no matter what, we still have the equations. So we know which one is which. Now we need to find sine of it. Wait, sorry, now we need to find tangent of it though. That'll be 5 over 12 in D. <coughs> Negative since we're in the second quadrant. Now, cosine of pi, of, of pi over 2 minus theta. Well, since we know sine, cosine will be 5 over 13 positive, since we're in the first quarter. Now, it's easily told as a right. Now, tangent of pi minus theta, we know it, but, but it means that cosine would be 12 over 13. But since we're doing pi minus theta and it's in the second quadrant, it's negative. And finally, cosine of three over two of three pi over two minus theta. Three pi over two minus pi over six will give us eight pi over six or four pi over three. Which will bring us here. that we're looking for cosine, which will basically be, which will basically be five over 13, negative since we're in the third quadrant. Mm -hmm. Let's see.